making cumulative frequency tables from a group frequency table. This is a grouped frequency table. As you can see it shows the marks in a test and how many people scored those marks. So this is saying that five people score between zero and ten. Seven people score between ten and twenty. Thirteen people scored between twenty and thirty. Eight people scored before scored between thirty and forty and so on and so on. Now cumulative frequency is when instead of having separate bands, separate classes in the table, they are accumulated together as you go through. So the first group is always the same. It's the amount of people that scored between zero and ten. As you can see from the table here, you get five people. Now often on a question the classes will be drawn in for you. But each one always starts at zero and it goes up to the next number. So the next one is going to be between zero and twenty. Now the frequency that we have to fill in here is going to be all the people who got between zero and ten and all the people who got between 10 and 20. So you add these two numbers together. So 5 add 7 is 12. Next is the number of people who scored between 0 and 30. So this is going to be all the people who got between 0 and 10 and all the people who got between 10 and 20 and all the people who got between 20 and 30. Add them all up 25. Next one is the number of people who scored between 0 and 40. This is going to be the first four rows from my table so I can just see it's just eight more. So I can add on eight and I get 33. Finally, the last row I have to do is the number of people who scored between 0 and 50. Now this is everyone, but I can work it out by adding on the last one, the last number, which is 40. Often the question will tell you how many people were surveyed, and what you need to do is check that the number you got at the end of your table here matches the one in the question, if it's given to you. The last row should contain everybody that was surveyed.